Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Dr. Liz here and I just wanted to say hi and um, follow up on an earlier talk. We we're talking about getting started and picking a spot um, and moving forward for a restart for yourself, whether it's for yourself personally, um, health, relationships, marriage, jobs, careers, like really, really, really like just stopping and um, identifying and moving forward as a fresh start. And so some of you were going to um, pop in and tell me what you started uh, first, just doing something different, breaking up the routine. And I started hearing, which is great. And I so appreciate you guys reaching out to me and chatting because it's, it's fun to know that I'm not alone in this at times. And when I started hearing when people were talking about what they wanted to do differently, one, it was kind of hard to think outside the their routine. And two, once they started breaking out and thinking, the biggest emotions that started bubbling up was overwhelm. People were saying, where do I start? There's so many things I could change. We've got COVID that may or may not be changing and vaccines and do we vaccinate and masks that may not be. And, um, you know, I want to change up my meals and my health. And I've spent so much time not interacting with people. I'm actually now having social anxiety. I don't want to really get too close to people or maybe in my relationship or my marriage, it's always been a little bit on the, or for a while it's been a little bit on the rough side and we haven't been intimate. We haven't had sex in so long. And how do I even like reintroduce that or affection? And, and they're just spiraling and my kids and what do we do? Overwhelm. Okay. It's sort of like a uh, new year's resolution on steroids where if in my past I've, gotten excited, gotten motivated that I'm going to change all these things and the overwhelm and not really realistically sorting things out, I get stalled out. And so I'm hearing a lot, uh, quite a bit of anxiety about worry of overwhelm. And when we start putting that equation together with anxiety and overwhelm and too much on our plate, uh, we get defeated and then we stop and we stall out and we sort of rinse and repeat and we step back and aren't feeling very successful in our world. When we don't need that, it's really, really, we don't need that. You know, think about this project as this huge pile of laundry that maybe we haven't done laundry for the for a family of two, four, six people all week. And so we've got sheets and towels and socks and underwear and all, all. I mean, we just got it all. And we take that launder and we just dump it out on, I don't know, just say the bed. And so you've got mounds, <laughs> mounds of clean laundry. It's clean. But we got to figure out and I say, okay, well, just sort it, fold it, put it away from me if you don't mind. You might step back and be like, oh, I don't even know where to start. I don't feel like starting. I don't want to start. There's too much. And then we would walk away from it. And we might circle it or we might pick at the at the pile and pull a couple things out. But the pile would be there and we'd know it and we'd feel it. And again, the overwhelm, the feeling of defeat, the feeling like I'm not making a I'm not showing up the way I want to in my life. I'm not showing up the way I want in my relationship. My relationship didn't show up the way I had planned. Right. And so what if <laughs> Okay, what if instead of me just piling that pile of laundry there. What if it was dropped in here's socks, here's shirts, here's pants. Um, if we have kids, it might be here's our son's stuff, here's our daughter's stuff. And they're all, in. I'd say, would you fold that, put that away? It would be easier, right? Because visually it had already, there'd already been things broken out and we could pick at it and complete something and feel successful. At least it would be for me. DM me and let me know what you think. That's a thing. So as we've broken things up, as there's a plan, the overwhelm and the anxiety starts to drop and we tend to feel more successful and we feel like we're moving forward. So tip number one, the tip here is let's create a list. When we talked about some of the things, do something new, 
Well, people were showing me these huge lists and they didn't know where to start. Great. All right. Create those lists, long or short. And then we're going to pick just one to do something different. And maybe it's something as simple as instead of three cups of coffee that day, they're going to reduce it to two because ultimately the goal is your caffeine. Okay? But the fact is they're doing one at a time. They're picking this list. Okay? And that's what I do, guys. I come up with an idea. They come up with a list and I start and chunk through those things. It's what the same thing I do in my SMART program where I work with women and, and their relationships or when I'm working with couples is we do a deep dive and we kind of get an assessment of where people are, that huge laundry file. And then I chunk it into the steps that you need. Here's the socks, here's the shirt. And so that you can move successfully through this on your own. You don't have to bring them in. You don't have to bring the whole family in on this. You can start making progress. Start feeling good about yourself in your relationship. Start feeling good about yourself in general and how you're showing up. So your tip is today when you're feeling overwhelmed and there's a whole bunch of stuff to do, let's break it down, let's create a list, and let's move forward, okay? One at a time, um, pick the ones with the high ticket things, and then we go from there. Now. I would love to hear more about everyone's, I would love to hear more about everyone's lists and, oops, I'm getting an amber alert, um, everyone's lists and where you're starting. So DM me, share, share them. I'm always available for a chat. And if you're ready to move forward, if you're done with feeling overwhelmed, done with starting and stopping or waiting for them or really not where to go, you know, reach out to me. My smart program um, really does do the heavy lifting. We do the assessment. I help you chunk out and get where you want to be. So I need to pop off here. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Let's not let the overwhelm get in the way of being and showing up how you want to be, how you see yourself, because you can do that for yourself, for your relationship, for your family at work. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.